Tess of the D'Urbervilles, A Pure Woman Faithfully Presented is a novel by Thomas Hardy. It initially appeared in a censored and serialised version, published by the British illustrated newspaper The Graphic in 1891, and finally as a single volume in 1892. Though now considered a major 19th century English novel, even Hardy's fictional masterpiece, Tess of the D'Urbervilles received mixed reviews when it first appeared in part because it challenged the sexual morals of late Victorian England. Tess was portrayed as a fighter not only for her rights, but also for the rights of others. Tess Derbyfield lives in the small village of Marlet in southwest England. She's part of the May Dance, where she has eye contact with a young man, who turns out to be called Angel Clare. She comes from a poor family, but her father learns to his surprise that he's a descendant from the D'Urbervilles, one of the most noble families in England. They don't hold any wealth or power anymore, but when Tess causes the death of the family horse, she feels so bad, she consents to go to the D'Urbervilles' mansion. In reality, however, they aren't related at all. Mrs. D'Urberville's husband, Simon Stokes, simply changed his name when he retired. The old and blind Mrs. D'Urberville has a son called Alec, who gives her work tending the fowls, which she feels she can't refuse. He tries making advances on her, but she resists until one day he takes advantage of her, although she has no feelings for him. She leaves for home ashamed, trying to avoid people in town. She's pregnant and finally has a son that she ends up naming Sorrow. Her son gets sick quickly though, and dies shortly afterwards. She spends some time at home, before becoming a milkmaid at the Talbot Hayes Dairy, where she becomes happy. She becomes good friends with three milkmaids, called Izzy, Retty and Marion, and meets the mysterious angel Claire, who she spotted at the dance earlier, who's a son of a parson, there to learn farming methods. All four of the women are enchanted by him, but he picks Tess and he asks her to marry him. After first refusing his proposal, she eventually accepts, although she feels guilty, not having told him about her past, which frightens her. She writes him a note, and slips it under his door, but it disappears under a carpet, and he never reads it. On their wedding night, Angel confesses to having an affair whilst he was in London, and Tess tells him about her history with Alec. Tess is able to forgive him, but he's shocked by her revelations, worried about what his family and people in general might think if they knew. He gives her money and boards a ship heading for Brazil, where he has plans to start a farm. He says he'll try to accept her past, but warns her not to follow him. When her money runs out, she's more deflated than ever. She starts working at a Starvaker farm with Marion, who started drinking since she was rejected by Angel. She overhears a wandering preacher and is surprised to find that it's Alec Derverville, now converted to Christianity. At the sight of her, he doesn't hold on to his belief and is quickly trying to persuade her to marry. Tess returns home to care for her mother who's gravely ill, and when she's there, her father suddenly dies, which causes the family to be evicted. Alec offers his help, but Tess refuses, knowing it would bind her to him again. Angel returns, forgiving his wife. When he goes to the house, he only finds her mother, who says she went to Sandbourne, where he finds her in a posh boarding house. She tells him she finally relented to Alec, and that it's too late for them, which leaves Angel hurt. Tess argues with Alec and finally stabs him, running off with Angel, who's unsure whether or not she committed murder. He does agree to help her though, as they hide out in an empty mansion for a few days. When they travel to Stonehenge, Tess falls asleep on a monolith, and as dawn breaks, the police arrest her. Later, Angel and Liza Lou, Tess's sister, watch the black flag raised over the prison, showing that Tess has been executed. If you'd like to make a suggestion about what book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments.
And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.